Howdy folks, well we're back here at uh, World Headquarters, uh, coming to you this morning, beautiful Cedar Rapids, Iowa, kind of a rainy day, but uh, we're down here in the in the wood shop, and uh, uh, the last uh, uh, board of directors meetings, I received quite a bit of criticism because the, uh, uh, the record shows that uh, people uh, watch more of the uh, videos that show projects that are done than projects of me uh, just making wood chips. So the criticism was, you know, the board said, people get tired of you making wood chips. What they want to see is if you get anything, actually get anything done. So, you know, I, uh, I reacted to that criticism and, and uh, uh, purchased this uh, turntable here. So I got several things here this morning that I would show you that uh, I've made or in the process of making. And uh, I think they're all uh, wood that's been salvaged from the Drecho storm. This is a piece of uh, honey locust. And uh, that's the bottom there. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, you know, just kind of a... Uh, a flat, uh, odd looking platter. But anyway, uh, uh, if it doesn't sell, we'll just put it in the half price sale. Uh, and you know, we, uh, uh, business been pretty slow this last uh, year with the pandemic and all, but we're looking for an increase, uh, in the uh, coming months, starting in the summer. And I think, uh, uh, there's a lot of items here. Uh, they may be a little different than what you're used to uh, because they're all out of uh, green wood, natural turned wood. And so uh, there are a number of uh, imperfections, I guess you'd say, cracked wood and, and, and different things like that. So I thought I would uh, uh, perhaps uh, showcase some of the, the items that we've made in the past few weeks, months. Here's a, a piece of uh, uh, maple burl, and it's a it's a uh, a little uh, dish uh, with a lid and finial that should fit on there. There you go. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, our corporation is just like uh, so, so many of uh, the Fortune 500 companies. We have a department that uh, checks pretty closely, uh, makes decisions on the metrics. You've heard a lot about that with, uh, with the pandemic. Uh, we make decisions on whether we close businesses or, or let them open based on how many tests we've had and how many are positive and how many are vaccinated and how many have recovered and how many have died. So, uh, Going back to what I said a little bit ago, uh, the metrics show that by far the largest number of views are of uh, uh, videos that feature uh, this type of thing rather than just watch uh, some old guy make a bunch of wood chips. And I and I don't even I don't think we've got the question yet. Somebody's going to ask, "What the heck do you do with all those wood chips?" Well, that could be a subject for another show, perhaps. Uh, this is another piece out of the maple burl, and I kind of made it to be a, possibly a, get on there, possibly a companion piece uh, with this, uh, uh, thinking that uh, somebody might, might decide that, uh, that uh, this would be a little display, or the pieces could stand alone. Uh, if, uh, if, if we wanted them to. So, uh, another piece I made uh, recently is a goblet, and it's uh, walnut. And uh, this is turned, this is an end grain turning. In other words, this was the log, and I shaped it here, hollowed it out. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that uh, I like about this is is when you look at it, it looks like it's not round, but it is nearly round. So this is the bark, 
And uh, I thought that that, uh, uh, for a goblet, that made it a little bit unique. And uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe that'll be something uh, that uh, somebody would uh, put on their mantelpiece or something like that. Uh, one of the uh, one of the most recent one of the most recent pieces that I've uh, finished is this rather large uh, bowl. It's a uh, flowering crab apple. It uh, is similar to the walnut bowls in that it has a a uh, white band of sapwood that runs. Uh, around the entire uh, length of the uh, of the uh, circumference of the of the bowl, and uh, so it's a natural edge bowl, and it is uh, fairly heavy. And that's the biggest thing with these; uh, they, they they tend to be really heavy. This is what the bottom looks like. So I've suggested that they could be used as a boat anchor, but. Uh, Probably, uh, if we can't find a use for it, uh, we'll probably give it to Goodwill, uh, or we can put it in the half-price sale. Uh, there's there there's some other uh, uh, rather large things in the, in the uh, half price on the half-price shelf, so that might be an option. There's one other thing I wanted to show you, and that's this here. This is a work in progress. Uh, and uh, as I look at it here on the monitor, I, I have to ask myself, what in the world could this possibly be? So uh, let me just tell you, uh, it's in two pieces. I started out to make a bowl, and this is a flowering uh, crab apple tree. And one of the problems with it is, is, is that it, it, re it really cracks. So there's a lot of cracks. I could get rid of them if I wanted to take all this stuff off and make the bowl smaller. But this is kind of what I had in mind. So I've uh, spent quite a bit of time filling them up with sawdust and glue. And then I, you know, I got to thinking, well, maybe this would, maybe this would look okay if I, if I made a lid for it. And then I haven't yet made the finial, but I would make it out of this. And uh, so that's, that's currently where this is at. However, when I came down this morning and picked this up, these two together are, uh, uh, are, really, are really heavy. We might, we might have to have hernia insurance if we, if we actually tried to market this thing. So I'm thinking about it here, and I'm thinking what it might do is, is uh, make this into, into two bowls smaller one and a larger one and uh, we'll decide on that probably later today when uh, when I get back into these things big pieces like this when they're fresh they uh, uh, they warp and they and they and they move and they always move in the direction of the grain so I've made this so uh, so the diameter of this fits this diameter where I've carved a little groove around here. But this morning it won't go in there. It won't go in there because it's not really round anymore. So both sides are, are, are a little bit oblong. So I can fix that. I can just make, make, it little, make this a little smaller. But there's no guarantee that it, that, the, that it will, uh, that the moving won't continue. So Chances are, uh, I'm thinking this might be this might be smarter to make this project in, instead of a, a rather large bowl with a lid, which I don't know what the heck a guy would do with that, and just make it into two bowls, which seems like kind of a better idea to me. So anyway, that's uh, that's kind of a uh, a short summary of where we're at, and. Uh, 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 I'm hoping that this uh, satisfies the board of directors so they kind of get off my back and, and, uh, and quit grousing about 
uh, what I should be doing. I, you know, I just really, uh, I just really am the, I'm just the wood chip guy. And uh, what we need to do is hire some, some more, uh, we need to hire uh, marketing people and, and, uh, and be able to do this kind of stuff and just let me kind of hibernate down here in the, uh, in the uh, lower level of the uh, world headquarters. So anyway, thank you for listening and hope you have a good day. Talk to you later.